Welcome back to News Watch 10. I'm Jeremy Babin, and we're talking sports. Friday night, the undefeated Hillgrove Hawks came into Tunnel Hill with stronger, taller, and faster athletes than that of the Northwest roster. But someone may have forgotten to tell the Bruins that, as they didn't back down against the third-ranked Hawks. Let's head out there right now. Start with the ladies. Coach Stockburger looking for another regional win. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Caleb Perkowski picks up the loose ball and goes the length of the court for two of her game high for eight points. Lady Bruins up a dozen. Third quarter now. Hillgrove trying to get back in it with a foot on the line. Taylor Black nails a long range jumper, 34 20 Northwest. Quinesha McCurthy with the rebound and the outlet pass to Bailey Coley. Air balls it right to McCurtney and she puts it in the hole for two of her team high. 21 points, 39 26 Northwest. More Lady Bruins. This time Callie Thomas finds a cutting McCurtney who calmly lays it in. 49-35 Northwest. Northwest goes on to win 51-35. Now on to the boys where TJ Bright and company were looking for a win, but it was Hillgrove on the run early. Mike Lawrence with a drive and the bucket for nothing Hawks. Now here come the Bruins. Baker Kittister had a big game last Tuesday against Murray. He nails a three ball, cuts the deficit to one. Three minutes to go in the first. Hillgrove's million rockster drive stops and pops and drops the 16-footer. 6-4 Six Hawks. But Northwest responds, but they pass it around and Blake Kittister nails another three ball to make it a 7-6 Bruins lead. Now with under two minutes to go in the first, Alex Thames connects from downtown. That's a 10-8 ball game. 107 to go in the first. Romeo Williams to Lance Andrews. He connects from the top of the key. And Northwest, they go on and win 49-47. Well, it just goes to show you, if you had a rocky start to the season, remember, the only thing that matters is how you fare in region play. Although the Southeast girls at 6 and 7 overall, after beating Heritage on Friday, they're now down to 3 and 1 in region competition in 6A AAA. So let's head out right now to the highlights, and here we go. This one was all Lady Raiders and all Brianna Sosby. Third quarter, Sosby lays it in 41-22 Southeast. Still in third, Sosby is open for three, and she nails at 22 points for Sosby. Lady Raiders up 20. Now on the run and gun Sosby with the assist to Daniel Pearson. 53-26, Lady Raiders. And the Lady Raiders, they cruise past Heritage 65-37. They're 3-1 in region play. To the boys now, Coach Bryson and Coach Terry having a pregame chat. Both teams looking for their first region win. And after falling behind 2 nothing, watch this run by Southeast. Zach Harper, three ball up, three ball in. 3-2 Southeast. Now Bradley Grant's going to step up the three ball right here and nail it. 12-2 running Raiders with 30 seconds left in the first. Second quarter, Trey Paris from the corner. Count it. 15-2 Raiders after going on a 20-0 run that lasted seven minutes on the game clock. Hunter Cornelius, he's going to stop the bleeding, make it 20 to 5 Southeast, and Southeast would hang on for their first region win as they go on to win 61 to 58. Well, the first time Murray County and Dalton met this season, it was decided in overtime as the Indians beat the Catamounts in Dalton by three points for their first region matchup of the season. Saturday's game, a non region meeting that would serve as some sort of revenge for the Catamounts, or would it? Let's head out right now as we'll start with the ladies after opening the game on a 32 to nothing run. That's right, the Lady Catamounts prove just how good they are in the second half. Same story, Amanda Record doing what she does. 37 to four, Dalton. And at the other end, Emily Broderick going to come up with a huge block. And here we go, and off the rebound, back Dalton's way, Rector from the top. Yes, ma'am. Lady Catamounts, they sweep Murray in the season series winning. 55-35 and are now 10-4 and four on the season. Well, to the Dalton boys, Dalton hoping to avoid dropping to 5-8, and eight, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't looking good either. First possession, John Kaiser with a steal, and Chase Sanford floats the finish. 2-0 Indians. Later in the first, Tanner Long had a huge first half, 14 of his 20 points coming in the first. Murray up by 8, but Cass Cole, he finished with 18, keeping it close, 12-6 Dalton trails. That must have made the Indians angry because in the second quarter, the floater by Chase Sanford capped a 15-0 Indians run. 27-6 Murray, 36-18 at the half. And by the third, Garrick Sanford, he puts three more for Murray. Things getting a little tight now in the third quarter. You remember Murray giving up that huge lead to Northwest the other day? This bucket by Dantzler and the foul cuts it to 45-38 Indians lead. However, this time the Indians were not going 
come get this lead away. Tanner Long puts the Indians up by 11 in the fourth. Indians, they sweep down this season and win 66 to 59. Well, Saturday, the Bruins traveled to LFO, and while the Twin Towers of Northwest have been pretty effective all season, so have Kayla Weaver and the rest of the Lady Warriors. Let's head out right now. And a little, this game wasn't a snoozer, but this kid didn't know it. And it was because of plays like these in the fourth quarter. Callie Thomas is going to take it to, all by herself. The hoop and the harm, 46 to 44. Northwest, more Lady Bruins. Bailey Colley finds Emily True, and she nails the triple to put the Lady Bruins up 50 to 45. Lady Warriors on offense. Now Ashley McKenzie up with a shot, and Quinesha McCartney says, Bring that garbage out of my dumpster. One of three blocks on the night. More Lady Bruins off the miss. McCurtney's there for the putback. She had 16 points and 15 rebounds on the night. Time for the boys after the girls won 59 to 51. That kid's still snoozing. Second quarter though, it's Lance Andrews going up for the shot and Seth Weaver says, talk to the hand. 6.06 to go in the second quarter. Alifo's Matt Chan ahead to Travis Keith for the lay-in, 9-6 Northwest. More Warriors. Travis Keith rebounds a shot. And gonna go up strong for the bucket. Count it and one coming to the line. 9-8 LFO. Here comes Northwest with 432 to go in the second. Caleb Tatum to Alex Thames. Three ball up, three ball in. Thames had 12 on the night. More Bruins. Michael Kelly, the baseline jumper, gonna make it a 17-12 Bruins lead. Now it's Seth Weaver. He's gonna connect from downtown. Make it a five-point game, but Northwest, they go on and win this game. They sweep the weekend series, winning 50-31. to 31. Wow, a lot of basketball. A lot of basketball. It's that time of the year with, you know, the NFL winding down. We've All got right. basketball. Thanks, about. JB. All right, a final quick look at the weather, please, Cedric. All right, Calvin, as you can see, we're going to be 